future Disney and Marvel apologize to Depp for cancelling their contracts with him and get him back to his beloved roles since there is an audio which appears that he is clearly the victim of abuse? Why and why not? As long as everyone seems to be fine with Roman Polanski's deeds, it seems very very off that people lose their careers from stuff like Depp did, even if he was at fault. The industry is rotten, and Polanski slash Weinstein sort of people have been and still are abusing vulnerable people every day. Compared to that, two adults having a stormy relationship is hardly the real issue. As long as all the attention is focused on a couple of people, the rest will continue to get away with what they've been doing too. Depp's guilt or innocence was never the driving force of this story, and proof that he was the victim isn't going to mean anything either. It was about finding somebody on the A-list to simply accuse, who would then have to eat shit for years so the media and public attention is off the rest of them. Depp had become an alcoholic, likely exacerbated by the violent abuse he suffered from his former partner. The setup is perfect. It doesn't matter if it's true, it matters that it's been alleged. He was drinking, he was shouting and angry in the video Amber released to the public, which we now know was filmed after she had been violent with him again. That's all the court of public opinion needed to see. No evidence of any crime, just a domestic abuse victim having a psychological meltdown on camera. Any contradiction, including from Heard's own parents or her previous charges for domestic violence, doesn't matter. We all saw the video, we all heard him yelling and swearing, we all saw him obviously under the influence of alcohol. Case closed. Guilty. They put him in a movie and the headline will always be accused domestic assault perpetrator and alcoholic Johnny Depp to star in Disney film. There will not be a story that says we're sorry for rushing to crucify a victim of domestic abuse. The audio of Amber Heard admitting to being a serial abuser both physically and psychologically is incontrovertible evidence that we collectively made a mistake and we only hurt the victim of this terrible situation. We will strive to do better, investigate deeper, and provide facts to our audience instead of much more popular and profitable gossip. Absolutely. We can talk about how we don't want to see him in roles, how he's become stale, etc. But at the end of the day an innocent man was made to look like an abuser with minimal proof. I understand that the companies wanted to play it safe, but by doing what they did they chose to side with an abuser in Amber. To not apologize they don't care a bit about someone who has been abused and more about how they are viewed in the public eye. Yes because there is an audio which shows that he is clearly the victim of abuse. They won't because that would require them to in some fashion admit that they were wrong and generally a company isn't going to do that unless they are both undeniably wrong and there is a SHT storm that won't go away unless they admit it. If you look at IMDB he has had roughly the same amount of roles since the accusation as before. Perhaps less starring roles but to be entirely fair to the studios the movies where he was in a starring role have gotten more and more terrible. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them is still a very visible franchise. If any studio comes forward and admits that they didn't hire him because of the accusations then I think Amber should absolutely be required to pay for those lost opportunities. Yes of course. Johnny Depp has been affected financially, mentally and physically. Meanwhile everyone was defending the people who caused this mess. I know I am being subjective cause Johnny is a huge inspiration to me and I'm a huge fan. I think Disney and Marvel should for sure apologize, especially because they made their conclusions before there was real evidence. I want justice for Johnny but what I want even more is justice for Amber, which means in her case, paying back Johnny and spending some time in jail also she should never ever be in a movie again. I'm not pro-canceling anyone. Regardless of what happens at home. I think the whole social justice system is super messed up. Someone can be blamed without evidence and get cancelled. The hashtag MeToo movement scared me just as much as it excited me. I know multiple girls who were sexually assaulted by one of my teachers. To me, this case was clear cut. In fact, he was banned from multiple schools and my friends weren't even from the same school. But the hashtag MeToo movement didn't stop that teacher from teaching elsewhere. My neighbor also spoke in the matter of a minute about how her boyfriend threw crap at her and how she pulled a knife out on him. Does he have problems? Yes. Does she have problems? Yes.
Chances are I will never have all the information as an outsider. I don't want to be the judge and jury of these people via social media. I don't want to be responsible for the wrong verdict when new information comes out. A company is a private entity who can make their own choices, for whatever messed up reasons they want. I don't think Disney or Marvel will apologize. For Disney being distant from scandals is important, even if they aren't true. The world we live in doesn't make it friendly to work under Disney currently. If I were a Disney employee I would make sure I had a plan B. This is such a double standard. The whole thing makes me sick. Can you imagine what would happen here if Depp were a woman, and we just found out she was the victim of abuse this whole time? Can you imagine how everyone would react if she, the victim, was fired from her job over all this? I'm not in any way saying that people overreact when a woman is the victim, I'm saying that we should react the same way when anyone is the victim. I'll admit it, I was sucked into the narrative and I was angry with Depp initially and applauded when he was fired. I feel terrible about that. It's a shame that he will never be looked upon the same way again. He will never be fully exonerated in the court of public opinion. His career is over because she wanted to exert her power over him to ruin his life. She lied, but she will go on speaking at women's rallies while Depp continues to be unemployed. They should, but they won't. Hollywood is a fucked up double standard place full of biased idiots. They praise Polanski even though he raped a child and admitted it. But oh, someone says something on Twitter, people lose their shit and cancel the celebrity. I swear, if Oprah came out and said she shot 40 people, Hollywood sheep would just go oh she didn't mean to, we have to be more forgiving to people, we all make mistakes. She even said that old white people need to die, because that's the way to get rid of racism, no one cared that she said it. Lena Dunham admitted to molesting her sister, no one cared. But there are rumors about Johnny Depp that he's violent, PFF cancel the fuck out of him, no. It's not like they threw him out into the street, the guy has millions still so losing a job doesn't affect his welfare. He was not performing, movies need a lead actor who is performing well, they have thousands of workers who rely on that happening.